ABG, that is arterial blood gas analysis. When to do it, when not to do it, and how to perform it correctly. In this video, I will cover everything about the procedure. Before that, I'll introduce myself. I'm Dr. Chirag Madan, working as an intensivist at Apollo Hospital, New Delhi. So without wasting much time, let's begin. With the help of ABG, we get to know oxygenation of the patient, the ventilation of the patient, and acid base balance, grossly, right? Now, whenever you have to proceed with the procedure, the first and foremost thing you need to do is to take a written informed consent from the relative or the patient if conscious. And that, that should be done ideally, right? Now, in this consent, first of all, you need to explain to the patient or relative why it is needed. So, first, whenever the patient has any kind of respiratory pathology, like patient is an impending respiratory failure, pseudonarcosis, patient of COPD or pneumonia, nowadays COVID pneumonia. So, any respiratory pathology, right, in which you need to check for the ventilation, that means the PaCO2, or the oxygenation, that means PaO2. PaCO2 is partial pressure of carbon dioxide in the arteries, and PaO2 is partial pressure of oxygen, right? Second, any kind of metabolic problem, like patient having AKI or CKD, I mean the renal pathology, in which you suspect loss of bicarbonate or decreased bicarbonate, right uh, third in patient of lactic acidosis fourth patient in diabetic ketoacidosis fifth patient with poisoning or abuse of toxins so these are the basic or the gross indication of performing the abg test apart from that you need to tell what are the risk or the complication involved in this procedure now the complication could be there could be infection at the site wherever you have performed this test. Second, there could be hematoma formation or there could be gangrene of the limb. If at all, let's say you have performed the test from the radial and ulnar is also not working and hematoma is formed at the radial artery. So there could be impairment ischemia, first of all, of the limb, of the distal limb and then there could be gangrene. So these are the risks which are involved or the complications which are involved with this procedure. Now, you need to also know the contraindication. Again, the first is the local infection at the site. Second, any kind of peripheral vascular disease. Third, AV fistula on, on that same limb. And relative contraindication is patient having coagulopathy or patient on antiplatelet anticoagulants. Right? So these are the basic things which you need to do before performing the test. ABG sampling can be performed from various sites like radial artery, brachial artery, femoral artery, dorsalis pedis artery. Uh, but the most preferred is always the radial artery because it is the most superficial and has a good collateral circulation. But whenever you have to go for ABG sampling or arterial cannula, in the radial artery, you have to perform, in fact, you should ideally perform modified Allen's test. Now, I'll tell how to perform that. Ask the patient to raise the limb and clench their fist. Then occlude both the radial and the ulnar artery simultaneously and then ask to open up the fist. You can see the blanching over the fingertips and the palm. Release the pressure from ulnar and you can see the return of color on the palm. Now, if this doesn't occur within 5 to 15 seconds, this test is considered as abnormal. The modified Allen's is abnormal. That suggests ulnar artery is not patent and it is not safe to either cannulate the radial artery or to take ABG sample from the radial of that limb. Coming on to the main part, that is the procedure. Step 1. Arrange all the equipments as you can see over here. A pair of gloves, skin disinfectant or you can use alcohol swab, gauze pieces, 
लोकल एनेस्थेटिक एजेंट विच इज लिग्नोकेन दैट टू टू परसेंट एंड अ प्री हेपरनाइज सरेंज एंड अ ट्वेंटी सिक्स गेज नीडल स्टेप नंबर टू पालपेट द रेडियल आर्टरी यूजिंग टू और थ्री फिंगर्स एंड सी द कोर्स ऑफ द रेडियल आर्टरी एज वेल स्टेप नंबर थ्री Slightly extend the wrist using a normal saline bottle or a beta gene bottle. Step number four: Clean the site in a circular manner with alcohol swab or skin disinfectant. Step number five: Infiltrate local anesthetic agent, but before that, you need to aspirate and then instill local anesthetic agent. and you can see the wheel over there and do in a fanning manner step number 7 palpate the radial artery and having a preheptonized syringe in the other hand go at 45 degrees angle ideally you should see blood in the hub but as this is 26 gauge needle so we have to pull the plunger slightly and you can see the blood step number 8 discard the needle and remove air from the syringe now after performing the test you need to occlude the site from where you have taken the abg sample for at least 3 to 5 minutes and if the patient has any kind of coagulopathy let's say patient has decreased platelets or uh, deranged inr or patient is on anti platelet or anti coagulant then in those cases you need to press that that side for 5 to 10 minutes post procedure you need to be cautious about three things first the abg sample should be transported to the abg machine or to the lab as early as possible if at all not then you need to store it at 0 degree celsius that means inside a ice inside an ice box why the point is the rbc they consume oxygen right for for the metabolism so the abg sample which you have sent uh, that could show increase in pso2 levels and decrease po2 levels so false readings again right the second you need to take care about the heparin in the syringe if at all it is not preheparinized i mean you have just taken heparin in the syringe then you need to expel the heparin from the syringe correctly otherwise it will dilute and give you false readings and third there should be no air bubble in the syringe why what could be the problem now the uh, air bubble that means that that is a atmospheric air which has more of oxygen and less of carbon dioxide so your reading could show more of po2 and less of carbon dioxide so these three things can give you the false readings so you have to take care you have to be cautious after the procedure as well so that was all about abg test when to do it when not to do it and how to do it and if you like this video please hit the like button and share with your friends and colleagues thank you guys for watching this video bye bye take care